boy who was there yesterday just an easy back hit to, to the Arna camp. Uh, no controversy or anything. How's it been anyway for you coming back in this week? Oh, it's been it's been really really good. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm I'm delighted to be back in amongst girls. It's, it's been a long way, but I'm here and I'm I'm, I'm delighted to be here. But was there any sort of chance, realistic chance, uh, that you could have made the World Cup? Do you think on reflection, or was it just just didn't didn't have the time ultimately? For me, obviously, I knew I knew time would would be a factor, and obviously for me, it was it was always going to be tough. I suppose coming back from the injury that I came back from, it was it wasn't easy. Um, but for me, I suppose my first game back was the end of April, like the end of April. It was my first few minutes, um, and obviously after that, then you got to build your way back up to 90 minutes. And yeah, it was tough. Obviously, I had a few minutes, a few 90 minutes under my belt before the squad was announced. Um, but yeah, listen, it was just a little bit too soon, and uh, yeah, it was tough. But I was delighted for all the girls that was there. I think it's your international career sort of revived a little bit, Vera. Um, she brought you back in. You had that great game against Australia. Um, how did you reflect on her departure? Uh, I think for me, like obviously, I've, I'll always be thankful for Vera. Obviously, bringing me back in as a squad for a number of years, and she brought me back in and, and, and played me straight away. So I'll always be thankful for that. But for now, for us, it's it's a new campaign, it's a new start, and we're just all looking forward to Saturday to get out there and onto the Viva and uh, playing against Northern Ireland. And, and what a game! Yeah, I'll have all my family and my friends. Um, they're all travelling. They're making the trip up, so uh, yeah, it's exciting, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing them as well. What, what role would you say then, Shamrock Rovers played obviously in your recovery? Because going from like. The other way, obviously, the Women's National League didn't have that kind of semi-pro status mm -hmm. so much before this year. Like, would you have found that that was really beneficial towards your recovery? Yeah, I suppose for me, obviously, when, when Rovers got in contact with me, I was obviously coming back from injury. So for them as well, it was probably a bit of a risk, thinking, what way am I going to come back? Or am I going to be, be playing? Um, so yeah, listen, when they, when they came in and, and they were interested, I was I was, I was excited uh, when I spoke to them and what they had to offer. And like, their setup, the setup's unbelievable. And, They've been good in terms of like the SNC coach. Orla has been great with me, um, and yeah, listen, I've got back to being myself, and I'm playing games now, which is which is really good. And I remember you saying before that you obviously had to work alongside um, football, you know, like a whole load of uh, people do at the minute. Yeah. Um, are you still doing that, and then where are you kind of based at the minute? So uh, for me, I'm still based in Kerry. Uh, obviously, when when I spoke with Rovers and when we spoke about our contract and stuff, obviously for me it was. A case of I didn't know where I was going to be, so I didn't want to commit to anything too soon about moving up to Dublin and not knowing what I was, if I was going to be playing. I wanted to make sure that I was 100% that I was playing, I was playing games, and, uh, and I was back to myself. Um, so at the minute, I'm actually still, I'm still in Kerry, and I'm still, I'm still doing the trip. Yeah, but I think for me, I'm, I'm used to it. Like I've did it my whole life. Um, obviously, I didn't do it when I, went, when I was in Glasgow playing, but since I came home, I've, I've been travelling. I think I'm just unfortunate where I live, but uh, yeah, it's, it's just part of it really. And then obviously being back in the squad, there's a few people coming back in as well. What's that been like so far? And I'm sure everyone's delighted to see you as well. Yeah, um, it's been really, really good. Obviously, there's a, a few new faces in as well, which uh, I suppose is good. It's good for competition. Um, I think we're all in here to play for our country, give it our best. And yeah, for me, it's just taking it day by day, like going training and, and giving my all and just see what happens. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted to be back in. Yeah, I missed a few paces, but yeah, it's good to hear. So the last time I chatted to you was a couple of months ago, and it was just before you were getting back properly onto the pitch. How have you found it transitioning from that injury and recovery and not getting to play the sort of football that you want to actually be back properly on the pitch? Was it as good as you thought it would be at the time? Yeah, I think obviously you, you always have an aim. And for me, like my aim was to get myself back uh, playing. First of all, uh, back playing well for club, and then obviously try to get myself back into the higher setup. And I think it was, uh, it's great. I suppose all these little rewards, all these hard work in the gym, and those one percent every single day. And yeah, I'm back now, and I'm I'm, I'm just delighted to be over that injury. And you talked about you know coming back into the Irish squad after so long, and fear being the one that brought you in. What? What are you taking from that whole experience going into this campaign and the qualifying and knowing that that major tournament isn't as out of reach as it possibly was before because we have kind of got over the hump of getting to one in the first place? 
Um, yeah, I suppose when, when I when I first, when I came in, uh, obviously our aim was to get their World Cup, and obviously the girls did that. Uh, it was obviously unbelievable for Irish football in general. Um, and now obviously for us, it's 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 a new campaign, and I think we're eager. We want more. Uh, so for us now, it's about getting out of this group, and then we had the Euros to look forward to. And yeah, listen, it's it's really exciting, and uh, I'm just glad to be part of it. And from the league side of things, there's been a few transfers over the break that from like a couple of different clubs. How are Rovers feeling going into the last few games? Yeah, I think we've been like on a good run. We've been doing uh, really well. Um, obviously for us now it's P is obviously six points clear so it's going to be hard to catch them um, but for us now it's just winning our games and focusing on us and we see what happens at the end of the year um, obviously we still have the FAI Cup semi-final to look forward to so I think that's our main goal is to try to win that um, yeah so we'll, let's wait and see who we get tomorrow in the, in the draw if you don't mind losing Slagger Rovers <laughs> 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 I think a lot of them agree with you <laughs> I think we don't mind who we get once we just get a home draw. It'd be nice to play in Tala um, for the semi final and yeah, hopefully the final. When you talk about your injury, does that make you think any differently about what you want to achieve in your career? Does it kind of crystallise in your own head how it can be taken away and that actually we were just chatting before we serious about how it is a short career to try and make the most of the opportunity? Yeah, I think for me, like obviously growing up, an ACL was, it was always my fair. I always, I never thought I'd come back from it and obviously I see the likes of like Rihanna Jarrett doing it three times and I'm like I look at these people and I'm thinking if they can do it then I can do it um, I suppose when you get injured like that and you do your knee I think you're more eager than before for me it was a case of I'm going to do everything I can to get back and I'm just I've did it I'm, 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 I'm back playing and that's the most important thing and I'm just in, back enjoying my football There must be a fear there, fear there though at the time like where do you get that strength from in terms of I know you say you're looking at Rihanna and stuff but where do you get that strength in yourself and actually I think obviously it, like at the start it's a lot of it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not just all good days it's a lot of bad days as well and it's the case of you go to the gym and things are not going right and then the next day something better might happen and I think it's just those little improvements every single day just makes you want to come back stronger Sorry if it's a silly question but what would, what would you be like, what would you think of what would those little things be each day that might get you through or when you have those bad days is it stuff that might not even to do with the recovery or but just how you might be feeling on a certain day that can get you through um, yeah I suppose like obviously it's all when, you, when you come back and you do your rehab like you might be told like oh today you might be able to go running or you might go do a little, little bit of a jog and then that day might come and you might not be ready for it yet it could be, be another week two weeks and you just have to be patient I suppose stay strong and uh, yeah listen for me it was just doing whatever I could do to try to get myself back and listen to the ST coaches and, and, and do what they what they advise me to do. And would there have been that couple of people you were with and spoken to about that in terms of just for advice on it? Like would you have actually gone and spoken to players who've been through it and, and maybe understood the process of what was to come? Yeah, I think obviously when I did it, um the likes of like Chloe Mustaka that did it, uh, I was speaking to her about it. Um she obviously texted me. Um so when you look at all these players that have done their ACL, uh yeah, of course you 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 wanna. I suppose when I when I spoke to them, um, it was a case of they did it. I wanted it, I wanted to come back and like I said earlier, it was always my fair when it happened. But when once you actually do it, like you're more eager than ever to get back. And that was I think that was my mindset. My mindset is I like, well, I wanted to come back. I wanted to get back playing. Um, and it's it's what I love. It's what I enjoy. And uh, yeah, listen, football is what I've known my whole life. And I've grown up as a little girl wanting to play for Ireland, wanting to play professional. And I'm, yeah, I'm just delighted to be here. What was it like when you made that first tackle after coming back then? So, because that's always in people's heads, isn't it? When you, whenever anyone comes back from an injury, that first tackle is probably always in the back of your head. Oh yeah, of course. I think uh, the management was telling me to calm down a little because I was actually just flying in everywhere. But uh, I think that's just my. I think my mindset was I didn't want to think about it too much when I came back. It was a case of I'm back and like the people that I worked with told me I'm 100 percent. So I didn't want to think back of. I'm not ready or it's weak or I pull out of challenges or not like that and I suppose if you know me as a player I'm off for a good challenge and a good tackle and uh, that's just my game so yeah once I knew I was back I was just delighted to be back on the pitch. Can I just ask about the commute, how long is it exactly? The, the, the drive up, the drive up is it? Yeah it's around three hours and 20 minutes. Three hours so like a six and a half, so six seven hours. Yeah. And, and how often a week would you do it? So I do it three days, um, at the start when I was coming back I was actually doing it to four. Um, and then obviously now I 
I could come up on a, like Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and then stay up for the game on on the Saturday. But obviously, like that, start of the year, it was always we had chats about moving up to Dublin and and doing that. But I just didn't know what way it was going to be. So for me, I just wanted to take it day by day and uh, see what see what happens. And, and do you have to incorporate stretches or anything? It's a long, long time, you know, particularly the injury when you were coming back maybe in the earlier days. And Anything to help with it? Or um, no, I do. I, like, I'd, stop, I'd stop for a coffee and uh, a little break uh, on the way, up and down. Um, but yeah, I think like people look at me like, you're crazy doing this travelling. But for me, it's just, I'm used to it. So it's actually, it's actually some time to myself to actually yeah, reflect yeah. on a journey and play some pod- podcast and a little bit of music and just look forward to the session. I was going to ask what's on the playlist for the car trips. <laughs> Put off the ball. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't planned, that wasn't planned. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> of course, of course. Can I just go back to the, the injury, sorry, but mentally, how tough was it when you kept on hearing about another player that's gone from the World Cup, for example, with another ACL and another ACL, but with just a surge of them across multiple sports? Was that like a real punch in the stomach every time you heard it? Yeah, of course. I think especially in England, the likes of Bet Mead and all these players that did it. Um it was tough. And I think last year there was a lot of there was a lot of injuries, a lot of ACLs. Um but then there was also a lot of players that was coming back from it as well. So I think for me it was about always in goal was trying to get back and look at all the players that did come back. That was in my head. Um and listen I'm I'm over now. So hopefully no more ACL injuries or no more injuries. But yeah, it's good to be back. And, and did you speak I know like Yeah, I think at the very, very start, because obviously it was all new for me. I think I've, I think my biggest injury was my meniscus, and that was when I was at Cork City, maybe five, six, five, five years ago. Um, so of course, when you hear of, of an ACL injury, and then when you're told it's not just an ACL, it's it's pretty much your whole knee. It, it was it was tough, and it was a case of for me, it was like, can I come back? Like, have I got the mindset to come back and be the player I was before? And um, when I spoke to people, it made you feel that much better. You had somebody to talk to. So at the start, I did. Um, and then I suppose when I was more into my rehab and I seen the progress that I was getting every single week and every single month, it was, it was um, I, I, I knew I could do it.